The Selexion has um, the ability to separate things, completely orthogonal mechanism from chromatography and mass spectrometry. That additional mechanism of separation will give us selectivity that we haven't had before. In combination with HPLC and MS that we're used to using, we're going to be able to do things we haven't been able to do before. And as far as the future goes, what you're, going to, what you're probably going to see is that this is a technology that will be routinely used. It'll be integrated to the mass spectrometer. It's not going to be put on and taken off. It's going to be used, just like the HPLC. You don't take your HPLC on and off. You don't put it on when you think you want to use it. It's there because it adds that selectivity. It enhances the quality of the product that you deliver, and I think that's what the Selexion is going to bring. I think the, uh, the ability to um, put a chemical modifier in the gas stream um, opens up possibilities for separations that we haven't had before. So the most exciting thing about this product is really what we're going to be able to do with this as we start to understand how this works, the chemistry that's involved in that step of adding the modifier, how that is going to form clusters, how those clusters behave in the ion mobility cell, and that combination of chemistry along with the physics in the ion mobility cell is really what's exciting about this technology. The added selectivity that we get with the Selexion is going to give us more confidence in the data that we generate. And that confidence is going to be very important in any industry that it is required to know exactly what they're quantifying. Um, in particular will be forensics, anything with a legal consequence, environmental. These areas where um, there's a legal consequence to knowing that you've quantified the molecule of interest, you're going to get a big advantage from the selectivity to get with a Selexion product. The future for the Selexion technology, I think there are two aspects to it. One is that it's likely to be on the front of every mass spectrometer. There's virtually no reason not to have it there. The other piece to the future with Selexion is with the chemical modifiers. The, the potential there is untapped. We don't know where that will lead us. And that is very likely to add uh, a level of chemical selectivity that we, we really haven't seen coupled online to mass spectrometry. The results that we generate by quantitative analysis with mass spectrometry, we don't want those questioned. We want those to be absolute. We're not there yet. We have a ways to go. Um, and working with AB-SciX, I think we're going to get there.